friends, today we are going to be talking about the Surface Pro 8 and some of the awesome changes that have come to this generation of Surface Pro. Let's take a look. The Surface Pro 8 comes in two different colours, Platinum and the one that I have here, Graphite. I have really loved the black version of Surface for a few generations now. Surface Pro 8 has been designed with a more eco-friendly material, recycled aluminium, as opposed to magnesium from previous generations. While the graphite colour does look a little bit different to the black, I've noticed that it shows up significantly less fingerprints on the body of the device. At first glance of Surface Pro 8, you might notice something different about the screen. It's now a 13 inch Pixel Sense Flow Touch display, which is 11% larger than previous generations of Pro. This has been achieved by narrowing the bezels around the outside of the display. The screen is now also supported by adaptive color, which automatically adjusts based on ambient light. It also now supports up to 120 hertz refresh rate, which allows for an even smoother pen experience and it's more responsive to touch. I really love using 120Hz refresh rate on my phone, so I was really excited to see this come to the Surface Pro 8. The movements on the screen are just flawlessly smooth. This really comes to life thanks to the improvements that have been made to the touch experience in Windows 11. There are now even larger hit targets making it even easier to move apps around my screen or resize. When I remove the type cover, the icons grow slightly larger as the gap between them increases. This is designed specifically for touch. Moving and resizing apps is even easier to navigate with larger hit targets and a shadow box behind them so I can see the place that I'm moving the app to. It's also now even easier to snap two apps side by side to make the most of my screen real estate. They even move seamlessly with you as you change your screen orientation from landscape to portrait. But the real game changer for me is the new on-screen keyboard in Windows 11. I like being able to use swipe so I can work faster, but I can now also resize the keyboard so it's easy to use with one hand. It's really similar to the experience that I have on my phone, and it's actually meant that I've used my Surface Pro 8 more as a tablet than ever before. Something I've always loved about the Surface Pro range is that you get the power of a laptop but the flexibility of a tablet and with that iconic Surface kickstand you now get every angle in between making this a great device for drawing or handwriting notes and how could I not talk about the awesome type cover and detachable keyboard. Here I've got the version that's bundled with the new Surface Slim Pen 2. The keyboard is complete with a full row of function keys, backlighting, and it really does perform like a traditional laptop. We now have a little home to store and charge our Surface Pen, which is something I absolutely love to ensure my Surface Pen is always with me and ready to go. And there have also been some amazing changes to the pen. The Surface Slim Pen 2 still has 4096 points of pressure, so it's ultra precise when I'm handwriting notes, drawing diagrams, or signing documents. You can also still flip the pen around and use the top as an eraser, but this also has a customizable button, so I can one click into one note, double click to open up sticky notes to jot down a quick idea, or even press and hold to capture a screen snip. There is also a side button which has now been moved to the flat edge on this generation of the pen so I'm less likely to press it by mistake. But my favourite addition to the Surface Slim Pen 2 has to be the haptic feedback. The Surface Slim Pen 2 has an inbuilt haptic motor so when I'm using it with compatible apps I get feedback in the pen as I'm pushing harder or as I tap my way around the screen. It's kind of like using haptic feedback on your mobile phone keyboard or even that feeling you get in your Xbox controller as you're playing Forza Horizon 5 and you get different vibrations as you change terrain as you drive around. It is very, very cool and I highly recommend you try it out for yourself. Now, let's talk some specs. I know a lot of you will already know Surface Pro 8 comes in a few different configurations so you can get the device that best suits your needs. My device? has an i7 11th gen Intel Core processor, 16 gb RAM and a 256 gb SSD, which makes it pretty powerful. It copes with all of my day-to-day -day tasks like answering emails, joining a whole bunch of Teams meetings, having over 20 tabs open in Microsoft Edge, but I can even use it for things like video editing in Premiere Pro or using Photoshop. 
The Surface Pro 8 has advanced thermals that use active cooling to extract top performance from the chipset. And this device is built on the Intel Evo platform to get the best performance, graphics, and battery life out of such a slim, light, and portable device. And speaking of battery life, the Surface Pro 8 can last all day with up to 16 hours of battery life, which is also supported by fast charging. The Surface Pro 8 now also has two USB-C and Thunderbolt 4 ports, Wi-Fi 6 for ultra-fast bandwidth. I always use my device with my Surface Dock 2, which connects via that Surface Connect port. Surface Pro 8 also has Windows Hello, so I can securely log into my device using my face within seconds. I can unlock my device and set up all of my daily peripherals in less time than it takes me to pour my morning coffee. You can also get up to 1080p full HD video using the 5 megapixel front facing camera. What I really love about this camera and the changes that have been made to the Surface Pro 8 is that it's finely tuned to allow for more consistent video no matter what your lighting conditions. So when I'm on a Teams call, no matter where I am in my house or how much I move around or use my hands while I'm talking, it makes my video image remain more consistent. Surface Pro 8 also has a rear-facing camera, which is 10 megapixel auto-focusing and allows up to 4K recording. While I don't use this world-facing camera as often, it was something I found super useful while I was studying at uni. I'd set up my Surface Pro device in front of me, video my lectures while taking notes in one note, and when I watched that video back, it showed me exactly where in the video I took those notes. It is such a cool feature and something that's quite unique to Surface Pro 8 and Surface Go 3. Surface Pro 8 has dual microphones and now new dual speakers which are powered by Dolby Atmos. This creates a full 360 spatial sound experience which is amazing from Teams calls to even just streaming content on my device. I've really loved my experience of using Surface Pro 8. There are so many amazing features of Windows 11 that really come to life on this device. Thank you so much for joining us in this video. We hope you've learned something and we'll see you on the next one.